welcome back guys thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos in this playlist and uh, please you know make some time out and watch the entire playlist videos i bet by the time you watch these videos you will be acquainted with every little feature in google ads right so in this video i will be speaking about how to create mobile app campaigns right so what's the what's the motive behind creating these campaigns but before i continue i like i say always in each video you don't go to institutes to learn this stuff. Remember, you can't just become an expert by working on one account. You have to work on accounts that spend lakhs and crores of rupees. You can't just work on one account and say you become an expert. No, every business is different. You have to work on multiple accounts and that will happen when you work with an agency. And uh, the, the recognition for that is Google Partner. A lot of institutes put the Google Partner logo and claim they are Google Partners, which are not. Don't fall for those trap, right? So I I will I want to show you how you find Google Partner status. So you come to my website. This is the bootcamp. I run the bootcamp. This is India's first real-time bootcamp, right? So you you click on the logo, and you'll be taken to a page where we are listed in Google's official database of Google Partner. Remember, this is only given to those people who match huge spend and manage and manage to have a lot of clients and and continue to match the requirements or continue to you know you know you know uh, not violate any of their policies. Remember, this is what you need to check. Just because somebody puts a logo, you trust them. No, it is not going to happen. Remember, you can never make a career by this. Don't go to institutes to learn them. You already watch these videos, become an expert, get to a certain point, and then go to execute them in real time. So yeah, so let's jump right in to understand the mobile app install campaigns. See, the mobile app install campaign is a campaign objective whose primary motive is to drive app installs. So if you're working with some advertiser who says, hey, I don't want people to click on my ad and go to site. I don't want people to call me. I don't want people to know about me or brand awareness, nothing. I simply want people to download my app. My objective is, you know, I have 10,000 budget or my, my goal is like get 10,000 app installs. So to drive this objective, you have a separate campaign objective called mobile app install campaigns. So if I go click on campaigns, you have new campaign. When I click on new campaign here, you have something called app promotion. Earlier when I taught you about campaigns, I told you go with a campaign without a goal because you find everything. But here I'm telling you because you have a perfect goal, you know what you want to attain. So I know I want to drive app promotion so i click on this and system will only give you that particular feature so it's giving me app campaign right or if i go with all goal and then you can create this also again it will show you the same thing so i would rather not want to go with that i will go with app promotion campaign system will show me two things hey is your app in android or ios remember even if your app is in ios you can still promote it through google ads if your app is in android you can still promote it through google ads. that means if your app is in play store you can promote it if your app is in ios store or app store you can still promote it but remember you want to promote both the apps both play store both ios store then you have to create two campaigns one campaign for people who are using android devices one campaign for people who are using the ios devices so I'll go with Android it is asking me hey uh, can you please look for your app in the Android so let's imagine I want to go with you know an app called link right so I select the app right it's asking me a hey, name of the campaign I think you already be aware right so what here system uh, what system does here is you know your ads are generated using your text ideas the system is asking me hey I will create the ad all you have to do is just give me the assets assets as in your text ideas your images your uploaded content your video content and system will also take some information from the Play Store remember you can do this only after you have your app uploaded or placed in the Play Store and when you put that the requirements you have to put the entire content images and then the description and the reviews and many other information right so Google will take all the information and create the ads for you let's do that let's see how it runs your ads are generated using text ideas uploaded assets and content it's asking me to give the text ideas right and independence lines of text that will be used to generate your ads in different so it is asking me to give text ideas you see one two three four it's asking you to give the videos if you have videos it's good you give it if if, if you have it already on youtube you can you find find it and you can you know select it and then system is asking you to upload 20 images. There's again optional. It is good that you have images and give them because system will be able to create nice ads that will drive people and put your ad before them and make them make them to install your app because the intention is to make people download your app. And again, the campaign level settings we already discussed in the previous videos. The campaign level settings will remain same. But remember, there's one feature here. This campaign will only appear on mobile devices because there's no way that you get app installs except mobile. So obviously, without it goes without saying that your ad will appear only on mobile devices, right? Here you have another bidding called install volume, right? This will this will focus on or this will optimize your bid in such a way that it will drive more app installs. So again, budget, you know how much you want to spend for this campaign every day, right? So when I select the no, it, no, when you create this campaign, it's an app promotion campaign, right? So the objective is to make sure the app gets more installs. So if it appears on Google 
google.com it will appear like this you might have seen a lot of ads like this right and it is not showing a desktop preview because it will appear only on mobile right it will appear and if people click on the ad unlike text ads they go to website if it's a call only campaign if they click on the ad they go to mobile but if it's an app install campaign they click on the ad they go to play store remember app will not get installed they only go to play store and again from the play store they have to click on the install prashant if they click on the ad they go to play store they don't install still google will charge you because google is not saying they'll charge you per install the charge you per click right so display network your ad will appear on other websites now you might have seen a lot of ads like this right Right? You might have seen a lot of apps like this when you're using Crickbuzz app and many other apps like this. You find like this. Right? If you click on that, you go to the App Store or the Play Store. Right? You see apps like this. Right? This is Display Network. So the objective is to show the images and video and and you know try and make people download the app. Display Network. It will appear not on Google but on other websites as you're browsing content. Video. When you're watching a video on YouTube, you might find apps like this. You know, you find an ad again, you skip or not skip a full ad, then you have the option of you know install. Right? And on Play Store also, your ads will appear. This will appear to people who are searching in Play Store, right? So, uh, so this is what you can do to create a campaign, and uh, this is how you create a normal app install campaign. But remember, the primary purpose is to make sure that you get more app installs, and Google will do that. You just have to create the ad assets and give it, and system will drive the purpose. That means your motive is to get app installs, and system will try and get you those app installs, right? And uh, if you, I, I would recommend you to go create a campaign and try. To work hands on, even if you don't have an app, you can choose any other app. If you want to really put money, never do that. Uh, if you try, don't try to promote other people's apps with your money. Don't do that. If you have your app, it's good, but you can still create a campaign. You create a sandbox account and run a campaign or create a campaign, and you see how that works. Get the entire idea about how these work, the functional significance of them. And then you can start to implement them in real time and work upon data. Thank you so much, and uh, continue to watch the other videos in the playlist. You'll get a lot of information. You become an expert by the time you finish these videos. Thank you. I will see you with another video. Good day.